I have a Chevy Express van here. I'll make my cut right here. I have a Chevy Express van here. This one got popped in the left front corner here, destroyed a lot of the front end. So it's gonna be getting a new radiator support, bumper, hood, fender, and then it damaged all of this structure right here. Now when you buy this new structure here, it comes as a full unit, which goes behind all of this structure right here. However, they make a sectioning procedure for this where I can cut it right here and section the new piece in, which saves having to cut a lot deeper into the vehicle. Then it also gets this front piece and then I'll repair this lower cross member once I get it cut apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting into this. I'll make my cut right here, then I'll grind out all my spot welds and get this piece off and I'll start fitting the new piece up. Okay, now they want the new panel to overlap by 25 millimeters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure how far over this cut is. It's right at 75 millimeters. So I'm just gonna add 25 to that. And that will be my cut. It looks like it's gonna be right on the edge of this curve. I'll double check it. This one's 55. So I'm gonna add 25 to that. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna get cut right on the edge of this curve and then I'll give it the 25 millimeter overlap. I'm gonna make some measurements up here. So I just about have this one all fit together. I will make some measurements on it and it will be ready to go ahead and weld. I got all of this structure all fit in place sitting exactly where it's supposed to be, measures out good. While I have this radiator support bolted, kind of also tying it all together, I'm gonna go ahead and start welding this in 
and once I get a bunch of the welding done, then I will unbolt the straighter support, get it out of my way, and get my last welds that I can't get to with that in there. Then this one will be ready to send off to our paint department.